shall we? Oh. Right, so here we have it. So this uh, news dropped yeah, today, um, sort of earlier anyway. This reveals that the movie, that the Ray movie, New Jedi Order, is kind of in trouble, to be fair. Um, and this perfectly exemplifies what we've been saying about Lucasfilm for some time, is that they randomly announce projects just on the lead up to uh, shareholders meetings, yeah. uh, much like they did. They've they've announced a hell of a lot recently. They did it before. Uh, when they announced this, they sort of technically kind of really didn't have a lock on a writer. So what I mean by that is this was originally Damon Lindelof uh, and Justin uh, Brinton, I think, if I remember rightly, or something like that. Uh, And then they moved to Stephen Knight. Uh, He's not a lock anymore, and he's not handed in a script. Yeah, the that that was news to me that Stephen Knight didn't hand in anything. But you're right, the Brinton guy was the other guy. You were 100% right. Yeah. So this comes from Making Star Wars which have been pretty solid on their leaks, actually, mm-hmm. for some time. Um, mm-hmm. They've been right about a lot of stuff. Is this Jason Ward's site? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know the names of the people. Mm-hmm. I just know that it's making Star Wars. I know that, I know that I've read some leaks from them before that turned out to be accurate. true. Yeah. For Obi-Wan, oh. for Ahsoka, for oh. multiple stuff, basically. And, and you're right, Lindelof, uh, J- Justin Britt Gibson. Right, there you go. Yeah, Brooke Gibson. So basically, this individual at Making Star Wars says, today I was told that Stephen Knight hasn't written it. He hasn't written a script. <laughs> he hasn't got to get to it. So he doesn't, have to, he doesn't have to write a script. The scheduling and the stars did not align. Stephen Knight was simply the guy they picked up and who they could get in that moment when Damon left. And it never lined up, which sounds like they were like, shit, we need to announce this. Let's just get someone on board so we can announce it. Can we Can we use your name? Yeah, sure, mate. Do you really want me to write anything? Nah, don't worry about it. Doesn't it sound an awful lot like that? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not saying that he is off of it. I'm not saying that he's going to write it or not going to write it. I don't know. That sounds like the main reason why they rushed out the Mando movie. Because this doesn't have a script anytime soon. So they're using what would presumably be quite expensive booking fees uh, in uh, studio spaces because they can't cancel them because they're going to lose out on a lot of money. And they've gone, right, well, we're screwed now, so we've got to use them. Well, we've got this script for season four of Mando. Let's just turn it into a movie. That is my hot take. Thoughts. Nick, we'll go to you first. Uh, No, I agree. Uh, I mean, if you look back at the entirety of the time that Disney has owned Lucasfilm, and maybe you guys can think of one, but I can't. uh, I can't think of one instance or one occasion where they made a movie announcement on their website and that was the announcement. It's normally at a, at a D23 event, Star Wars Celebration. It's normally at some event, uh, and they they will trot people out there, uh, the people involved, whatever. But it's normally an event on the announcement. It's not an article that's posted on, on the Star Wars website. Like, hey, guys, uh, Mando movie's coming. Here you go. Oh, and Ahsoka season two's in development, which how many Star Wars projects have been in development for years upon years upon years? Uh, Ahsoka Mm. season one was trash. uh, And I'll be surprised if season two actually happens. Uh, I mean, it could, but I'd be surprised if it actually does. And then this, you know, they were getting reamed, reamed for like a week straight on this Obid Chinoy lady in this ray movie i mean by everybody and then this Mm. just drops Mm. i'm gonna call uh damage control pr move on their part (laughs) yeah and they their pr team super suck now so yeah yeah i mean seriously um what do we think then i dude this this thing is in park 
I mean, it's it's not even in pause. It's in park. It, it's it's not going anywhere. I mean, the, the, we had a conversation. And this is another conversation I've had about Star Wars behind the scenes. Um, that uh, that there's a pretty decent chance that while they may have started to to put some sets together and stuff like that for generic things that were that are supposed to be coming up in in any of these films, I you can you can really see uh the the movement forward um you know from the company's house side of things so i have a feeling that the the pinewood studios uh sound stages are now being out uh laid out for this mando and grogu thing and they're they mm. never moved forward with anything on the on the physical side for sets and things like that um with this uh ray film no oh, yeah just, for sure yeah i can't yeah. i can't even imagine it now because again it, 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 there were treatments i think you mentioned that um uh, off off stage actually um mr h yeah so um, the, the, this yeah. report doesn't actually discount the leaks that have come out because uh daisy ridley has seen a story right yes. she knows a story so that would imply that there's a script treatment you know it's just a rough outline, outline. a few pages yeah. yeah it's literally just a, a script outline it's a story outline so it implies that there are script treatments floating around but no actual scripts and these script treatments this story is very clearly the story that Damon Lindelof wanted to do anyway. It's the same story, right? They're just trying to rework it into different things here and there yeah. and add some different things here and there. But it's the same. You can build that off the same script treatment. It's not yeah. that difficult. So it sounds like those script treatments have been circulating around. Those are pretty standard. Um, so it doesn't discount any of the leaks. It doesn't necessarily va validate them either, FYI. But it doesn't invalidate them. Um so yeah just uh, to me it sounds like yeah they they sort of again ran before they could walk they announced this they didn't have any script lined up they thought they would but they booked everything and now they've got to give it off to someone else well yeah so yeah. yeah and again i mean it's not like and again if you know this about company's house which is where all of these films are being made because of the deep discounts you give them with your tax dollars. Oh, I'm sure they're saying thank you to you, Mr. H, every time they make a film there. Uh, because you basically. Why got, that's why I got to milk them. I'm, I'm, di I'm bitterly disappointed this film's going to be delayed because. Yeah, want but you're getting another car. one. You're, you're getting another one, potentially three, right? We'll get, I'm sure we'll get into that later too. But when you look at, when you look at this, right? When you look at this, you're like, oh. Yeah, we want these tax credits at one third. One, we, we're going to take one third of our production budget and just have the good people of the UK write us a check for that. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, it's painful. Yeah. Yeah. Can't Andre get your thoughts on this then, chap? Well, it's uh, it's uh, weird, isn't it? Uh, exactly as uh, Nick says, there's this announcement is off. There's something very weird here because Disney doesn't do this. This should have been done at an event. Uh, that would have been if it came from the Kathleen Kennedy camp. But also, it didn't come from the Holy Reporter. And here's the thing, because I think that Bob Iger is the one that's made this happen. I think that this is Bob Iger going above the head of Kathleen Kennedy. He is desperate. He's against the wall. He has Nelson Peltz to contend with. Nothing is working. The only one that has made anything work in Star Wars is John Favreau. So I think that he has asked uh, Favreau to, to come back, take one for the team. But, but what's weird with that is that Bob Iger, he can just make a phone call and the Hollywood Reporter, Variety, and all of those would be on it right away. Instead, this is published on the Star Wars website. So it comes mm. from Lucasfilm. But it isn't done with any kind of fanfare. So, so to me, I don't know, a bitter Kathleen Kennedy, maybe. And to me, what's really interesting here is, is this Ray movie going to happen? Because there have been many that have suggested that maybe, maybe it won't. Uh, and that it's in trouble. Many have, have suggested that. And I think it will. I'm paying attention to it. Because there's two sides to this that, that I said in our show's dream yesterday as well. Two sides to this. This Favreau movie doesn't matter. If this is a one and done, and then it's being followed by Ray and all the other Kathleen Kennedy crap, then it doesn't matter. 
But if all of that other stuff doesn't happen, and suddenly the Favreau production is the only production there is. Now, mm. that would be significant. I'm not saying that's the case. But if that were to happen, that would be significant. And that is something to look out for. Yeah. Yeah, true. True. Very, very true. Well, there you go. 